Hello there, my wonderful internet and you fantastic creatures of the beyond. Let me introduce you today to a recommended trailer. <laughs> Becoming Evil, the official villain tryout guide by the League of Evil. So you think you got what it takes to be a villain? Well, congratulations, because now you get to prove it. Your villain tryout will test your mind, body, and soul, if you have one. Can you walk by a crying baby and look the other way? Can you kick an old person when they're down? Can you stand by when your friend's face gets melted by a superhero and still be tough? If you answer yes, great. To become an officially licensed villain, you have to be bad. You have to be the best. You have to be the best. As a villain, your body will be a registered weapon. And these are the guns. Tryouts can often be a stressful time for applicants, but always remember evil, E-V-I-L, every villain is loved. And if you ever find yourself in trouble, just remember, B-A-D, bad, burn all dead. Regardless, have fun out there. And remember, great villains are bad people. This is Villain Incorporated. It's a very, very fun movie. The score doesn't reflect it, to be honest, because it's just a small pool of uh, reviewers. And I agree, it's not on everybody's taste, but from a comedic point of view, it's very plain, very simple. The story is, yeah, just bare bones there. But the point is that the acting is fantastic. And um, you have somebody like Colin uh, Moka Mokri. Mokri? That's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He is freaking awesome. Uh, he's the old dude. So, yeah, this is a story about henchmen and how they lose their boss and now they're trying to survive out there because nobody's picking up on uh, uh, where they're left, you know? And uh, they discover that the world they live in is not as pink as they thought, even though it's an evil world. <laughs> but it's a freaking awesome movie. I'm not trying to spoil it or anything, but these highlights are exactly what you need to look for when you're watching this movie, because it will hit like a bell, you know? It's just so well done. Even the villain has its quirky moments. It's not over the top either. Even though it's a low-budget movie, they put a lot of heart into it. So yeah, I highly recommend uh, you watch this small movie. It's an hour and something. It's not that long. But it has action, a bit of love, <laughs> and lots of laughs. Okay, guys, I'll leave you with this recommendation and I'll catch you in the next episode. Stay awesome. Bye, 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 bye.